Stocks around the world have rallied after Joe Biden's projected victory as president-elect of the United States. Here's a look at the big board right now, up about 4%. It had cruised to over 5.5% earlier in the morning. Let us bring in Melissa Armo. She's the founder and owner of the Stock Swoosh. Uh, Melissa, so stocks fell flat during the week of elections, but have since ridden, risen after Joe Biden was projected president-elect. Um, and it's on fire today. Where do you see the trend going? What does this mean to you? Well, we actually made brand new all-time highs in the Dow today and the S&P, which is great for the market. Market's been holding the uptrend really ever since we had those lows back in March. The markets rallied very nicely. And last week, we did have a rally after the election because we had some good economic data that came out towards the end of the week. The unemployment rate went down. Uh, the claims number went down. That was all good. And I really think today's rally, uh, the gap up that the market had this morning to new highs, was because of the fact that it, Pfizer came out that they have a vaccine that is 90% effective. And I cannot set state, I can't overstate how positive that is for the country because they were looking for something 50%, 60% effective, even 75 uh, would have been great. So to have something 90% effective is a great sign for Republicans and for Democrats, for the market, for businesses, for, for all of us. So there are other pharmaceutical companies out there competing to put a, a vaccine out. If we start to see more positive results from other vaccine trials, can we expect stocks to continue to have a positive response? Well, right now today, we're actually down a little bit since we opened, we're selling off. So I think you're seeing some profit taking today right now because cases are still going up. And as you know, the vaccine isn't out. So there's a couple of different companies working on things. I'd like to see a therapeutics come out. Again, which you, you give people once they're sick to, to help prevent them from, from, from dying or getting sicker because that's been a big problem. And again, we don't know exactly when the vaccine is going to be widely available. Say, say it comes out in December, when is it going to be available that they can get it out to people? The work speed by the administration, they've been pushing and pushing and pushing it. So congrats today for that. I think this is a big win for the administration, but it may not be widely available until early 2021. But for, for people out there that have been thinking that this is never going to end, I think this is a great sign. I wouldn't buy the market today because we're selling off at new highs. But I would think if you have a 401k, this is positive. If you're in the market long term, uh, this is positive. And again, I think the market's going to hold the uptrend. And I thought that all along, no matter who was in charge, no matter who won the election. Uh, Melissa, so the other question, of course, is we're still waiting to see if Congress will pass another coronavirus stimulus package. Are investors optimistic about the possibility of that and what would it mean for the market? I think that's something that Congress has to work on ASAP. They put it off, they put it off, and they didn't want to do it before the election. And I understand why, but a lot of people were hanging in the balance and that date of when the evictions and the foreclosures, when people are going to have to be pushed out of their homes because it's looming, looming. It's January 1st that it, those eviction and foreclosure notices up, the moratorium on that. And I think that Congress has to get something done before then to help people maybe catch up on some of their payments or be able to, to stay in their homes. I think unless they push that deadline back or get stimulus done, it's going to be a really rough holiday season for a number of people that are still unemployed. There's still a lot of people unemployed. So I think the market wants to see a stimulus plan. You may see another pop if one goes through. I, I think it has to happen, though, looking at the calendar pretty much in the next two weeks. Thanksgiving is two weeks away. If they don't get something done in the next two weeks, it's going to be, it's, they're going to push it to, towards the end of the year and maybe into January 2021. And don't forget, there's going to be another runoff in Georgia with the Senate, so that that's kind of up in the air, too. So there, there's a lot of things that are still hanging out in the balance that could worry markets. I, that's why I really wouldn't go long here. If you're already long, I'd say stay long for your long-term investments, but I wouldn't take any new positions here even today. Mm -hmm. All right, Melissa, thank you so much. Thanks.